Wrestling as a whole. I am your commentator, jo uh, Joshua Little, of course. Welcome everyone to Austin, Texas. Glad you could all join us here for NCW's Live Wire. All right. An opening battle royal title is on the line, and Live Wire looking to their best troops at Adrenaline's uh, champion, new champion, if you will, Alistar. So Alistar walking away with the title. At the last episode of NCW on Adrenaline. And now, here tonight, he is here at NCW's uh, Livewire. Looking to defend his title. Our troops and the one here tonight are TJ Black, Thomas War, the Queen, Simpson, also West, and Huey Blunts. The five men who will be uh, fighting it out here against the former Battle Royal champions in their own right. Thomas War, TJ Black, and a locked in threat rivalry of sorts for that cruiserweight title as of late. But here tonight, it ain't about the cruiserweight title, ladies and gentlemen. It is all about the NCW Battle Royal Championship. Six men, pin and give up only, elimination style. Only one man can walk away with the belt here tonight. Who will it be? Appreciate that, Kelly. Thank you so much. Here we go. NCW's live wire. Five men off the brand looking to clash here tonight up against the Battle Royal Champion, and one of which is a champion. Here he is making his way down to the ring. He is your current NCW Cruiserweight Champion of the World. The one and only, the chosen one, Chase Henderson. Chase Henderson capturing that title, I believe, in a multi-man. Uh, may have been a fatal four-way. Nonetheless, Chase Henderson walks away the Cruiserweight Champion and has held the title since then. His first title defense will be against TJ Black in a singles competition. And TJ Black also in this opening Battle Royal Championship matchup as well. Will their rivalry end up taking over this matchup? We shall see. However, here tonight, it ain't about his Cruiserweight title. He knows it's for the Battle Royal title. And how good would it feel for the chosen one, Chase Henderson, to walk around with not one, but two NCW championships. He would absolutely enjoy that, as will his fans. But here tonight, we're going to see how he fares in this Battle Royal championship matchup. And now, 
next man. Making his way down to the ring, a former Battle Royal Champion in his own right. Here he is, the one and only Chase Henderson's teammate inside Jane's Children, that uh, faction that just started up. Nonetheless, they will be clashing here in this opening Battle Royal Championship matchup. Here he is, the one and only AJ West. AJ West. Here tonight, ready to go for this Battle Royal Championship matchup. He knows what it feels like to have been a Battle Royal Champion in the past. Here tonight, now looking to recapture the gold here on NCW's Live Wire. The green brand in full effect in a sold out arena here in front of this capacity crowd. AJ West ready to go. He knows what it's like, like I said in the past, ladies and gentlemen. He has won a Battle Royal Championship in his own right. And here tonight, he could very well climb the mountain once again and get that title right back around the waist of Mr. Wild Wild West himself. Here we go. AJ West, ready to go. As I've said before so many times, he has been a Battle Royal Champion. However, that ain't been like last week, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while since he's held the Battle Royal title. Here tonight, looking to get back into the swing of things, you know. But I'm going to tell you what, if anyone has a uh, the best chance in this matchup, let me look at the card once again to remind myself who's in it. But, uh, yeah, I'd probably say my money's on AJ West in this matchup. way down to the ring man who's been absent as of late but here tonight ready to go for yet another fight the koopa crusher himself thomas Ford. i don't know if you can tell fans but i'm actually a huge fan of thomas Ford. i personally love his in-ring style his in-ring ability and what he brings to the table as a cruiserweight showing off uh perhaps he is one of the top elite cruiserweights in my opinion in the division now, the division's not that big, but uh, Thomas Moore certainly climbing to the top of the ranks, if you will, and in my opinion, he is a top three in that cruiserweight division. Nonetheless, Thomas Moore here with us again tonight, ready to go for the Battle Royal Championship. Thomas Moore, I don't believe he's ever won the championship. He may have uh, won the Battle Royal Championship in the past. The title changes hands nearly every show. Uh, we don't even have champions who can keep the title anymore. Nonetheless, it's really hard to keep up with it, but uh, we do our best. And now, the next man making his way down to the ring. He is the number one contender to the NCW Cruiserweight Championship. T.J. Black. Stars like T.J. Black and Chase Henderson are the reason that a Cruiserweight Championship is back. Milo Young, of course, a former Cruiserweight Champion in his own right. Since uh, losing his title, he has left NCW. We wish him the very best. We truly do. However, the division must move on, and picking up the mantle is now the rivalry between T.J. Black and and Chase Hendo Henderson, the Chosen One. The Chosen One and TJ Black have been battling it out in multi-man matches as of late. And TJ Black finally snapped. 
He snapped backstage, ladies and gentlemen. He said, hey, I want a singles match. I don't want to fight in a four-man or an eight-man or a six-man. No, I want a one-on-one -on -one with the champion. So at Supreme Struggle, we will see TJ Black and Chase Henderson go one-on-one -on -one for the NCW Cruiserweight Championship right here. We will see them two go at it, of course, at the next Click Per View Supreme Struggle. That will be next week sometime, of course. I will give you uh, a heads up and let y'all know through a tweet when that Click Per View will be. It will be a major event, as they usually are. But here tonight, it ain't about that. It's about finding out uh, who's going to walk out the Battle Royal Champion. And speaking of Battle Royal Champion, here's a former two-time Battle Royal Champion in his own right, a man who will be competing in Rise to Stardom. And I'm going to tell you what, that will be the next episode we put out, 185. We're on 184 right now, I believe. Livewire, of course. And a man who was drafted to the Livewire brand, Huey Blunts. Huey Blunts, a bad man in his own right, you better believe, putting out his imaginary joint right here on the camera. Look at that, there you see. Huey Blunt's definitely looking to bring the action here tonight. That cross face has gotten him through some battle royals in the past as long as he doesn't take that much damage. However, here tonight, we're going to see how he fares once again as he challenges for the battle royal title. Looking to spice things up in the first matchup of our evening here on NCW's Live Live. Huey Blunt's a phenomenal talent that we've had here with us. And um, ever since he debuted in a Battle Royal, show, uh, just shocking the world, getting many eliminations, not going on to win it, but he would go on to capture the title uh, a month or two later. Nonetheless, here tonight, Huey Blunt's ready to go for the Battle Royal title. The damage -er. And now, all of the competitors are in the ring and they await the champion, the demon of the deep, Alistair. The NCW Battle Royal Champion has entered NCW's Livewire. I believe this is the first time that Alistar has been featured on Livewire since the brand split, ladies and gentlemen. But he is bringing the Battle Royal Championship over here. And uh, like, a, like a dark horse, he is not afraid to walk into NCW's live wire. And he doesn't have to watch his back, son. He knows. He's the demon of the deep. Ain't nobody going to try nothing. Oh, one of the baddest men here with us in the land of the nightmare. And I'm not taking anything away from the live wire roster. But they better be ready. As these five men are about to go up against a man who dominated the Battle Royal Championship in the last show, and now looking to walk into the six-man Battle Royal matchup, the matchup that the same rules that he won in the last show, this time walks in as the champion and looks to walk out with the same title. Five separate names this time, but still the same match. Alistar in the past has been known to be tapped out and be pinned in multiple uh, matches. He's been here for five years. So the Demon of the Deep, definitely looking to do some damage here. He is beatable, but I'm going to tell you what, he looks like he's getting back on to his old 2015 ways where he was just one of the most dominant forces in the entire company. Nonetheless, Six men look to collide here in this, the opening Battle Royal Championship. The damage of Huey Blunt's going after the champ, not doing so well as he gets caught with a DDT. Looks like Thomas Ward nailed his finisher there to begin with here in this matchup. And look at this. We got the submission here on the damage of. But look how the damage of power bombs his way out of that guillotine there. Or excuse me, that uh, Koga Plata of sorts. And now, oh, Thomas Ward with one hell of a, uh oh, Cottonmouth Crossface locked in. We have a Cottonmouth Crossface signing, uh, sighting, ladies and gentlemen, and he's got the champion down in the Crossface, but look out, 
TJ Black breaks it up, and now TJ Black has found his rival, Chase Henderson. The chosen one is on the ground, on the floor, trying to get up. Meanwhile, the damager locks in another cotton mouth cross face on the champion. At the same time as AJ West locks in that claw that he we've seen him eliminate people with before on Thomas War, but somehow gets broken up and now the hammerlock DDT by the cruiserweight champion. Down goes AJ West. And another cotton mouth cross face. That's three in a row by Huey Blunts. He is not playing around here, ladies and gentlemen, while TJ Black nails his rival with that. The hammerlock DDT and the champion taps out. The champion is the first one eliminated, ladies and gentlemen. Huey Blunts, if it don't work, try it again, ladies and gentlemen. After three cottonmouth cross faces, eliminates the Battle Royal champion in the first matchup here of Livewire. And we are guaranteed to have a Livewire uh, Battle Royal champion. Beautiful TKO there by Thomas War. And now, I if it was me, if I was the other guys, Forget my rivalry in the Cruiserweight division. I'd work together to take out Blunts and A.J. West as these two have been final, uh, former Battle Royal champions in the past. And look at this, T.J. Black getting involved with Chase Henderson's offensive efforts again. Now we get a pin on Thomas Moore, but not enough. Uh-oh. Meanwhile, T.J. Black looking for something deadly here. Got him locked up. Look out. Flying knee puts him down. TJ Black drops down the Cruiserweight Champion. AJ West now going after TJ Black. The damage of Huey Blunts. Gets reversed there. Meanwhile, look out. Hammerlock into a beautiful Soda Twist clothesline there. Uh-oh. The damage now. Got him up. The King Size come down. About to connect. But no. Instead, flying knee by TJ Black out of nowhere on, on uh his opponent and look out twist of fate on Huey Blunts Thomas War with that war cutter of sorts now uh oh oh look at this going for the cutter out of the TKO position and Thomas War quickly out of desperation with that backslide driver now AJ West with a double arm DDT on the cruiserweight champion da the damage of Huey Blunts is up who will be the battle royal champion got five men remaining, two former Battle Royal champions, uh, a cruiserweight champion, and uh, two men who have never won titles to my knowledge in NCW, TJ Black and Thomas War. And I'm going to tell you what, I ain't going to lie, fans, I'm, I'm rooting for TJ Black here to win his first title. Can he do so? We shall see. Huey Blunts, uh-oh, in a bad way. Oh, look at that, getting broke up by TJ Black, and a hell of a headbutt there by AJ West. Now it looks like everybody's going after TJ Black, and, or excuse me, Thomas War, and the flying knee by TJ Black puts down Thomas War. Thomas War is down, and we're going for a pin here, or TJ Black is. One, two, and no, Thomas War stays in this matchup. The cruiserweight Koopa Crusher trying to walk out with the victory. The claw locked in on the damage of Huey Blunts. Meanwhile, ripcord flying knee. Good Lord, what a knee there. The Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, and look out. He goes down to a flying knee from across the ring from TJ Black. Good Lord. Puts him down with that one. Oh, this is Xbox, by the way. My bad. I just saw your comments on the side. My bad, guys. I was into the match, like, calling it real heavy. Anyways, five men remaining here. We've got a pin here on AJ West. He'll kick out as well. Five men still remain. The Cruiserweight Champion, former Battle Royal Champions Huey Blunt and AJ West battling it out here. Flying knee drops down the Koopa Crusher, but look out. He collapses as he is tired, but will he go in for the pin here? No. Instead, he goes and kicks the Cruiserweight Champion right in the back. He says no. He doesn't even want to eliminate Thomas War. He wants to go after. I thought it was a pin there. Instead, going for a cross arm lock and into the leg bar. At the same time, he's got in one hell of a submission on the Cruiserweight Champion, but Chase Hendo Henderson, the chosen one, fights his way out of it. Meanwhile, Thomas War gets dropped with an Olympic-like slam, and now Hammerlock DDT could be the last one to put away TJ Black. One, two, no, 
only a two count as that schoolboy slam there by Huey Blunts. Five men remaining. The champion was eliminated first. Nothing but NCW Livewire boys remain here. One hell of a kick there to his uh, opponent that he will face one-on-one -on -one for his Cruiserweight title. And now off the second rope with a Swanton Bomb, Chase Henderson staying in the fight. Look out with his own Swanton Bomb, and he nails one while Huey Blunts is just wailing off on AJ West. And now, look out, reversal here by West. Beautiful arm drag here, but Huey Blunts from behind. Looks like a full Nelson getting broke up here, and an arm drag over the back there. And good Lord, he is just reversing everybody. AJ West is going the hell off, beating up both Huey Blunts and Thomas Ward. Wow, TJ Black and the Cruiserweight Champion are battling it out here. Chase Hendo Henderson is turned around here. Look out, he's got him locked up. Ripcord flying knee, down goes Hendo. The chosen one is down. The Cruiserweight Champion getting pinned here. Could we see this at the next click per view? Supreme struggle is no, he does not eliminate the Cruiserweight Champion. Chase Hendo Henderson, look at that. Huey Blunts with the double birds there to Thomas War. Thomas War is busted open now. Just trying to chill out in the corner. Nice flying Hurricanrana there, perhaps by the future. Cruiserweight champion TJ Black. He's taking it to Chase Henderson. They don't even care anybody else is in the ring here. Look out. Super arm drag there by the Cruiserweight champion putting down TJ Black. That could be the opening that the Cruiserweight champion has been looking for here. Beautiful. Double flying knee jawbreaker there to lay out TJ Black. Thomas War getting kicked in the gut. And the Cruiserweight rivalry is hot and wicked here. Good Lord, what a fall away suplex slam there. Down he goes, AJ West in a bad way as he gets locked up by the damager and taps out immediately to the Cottonmouth Cross face. We're down to four. AJ West has been eliminated. TJ Black in a bad way. Beautiful hurt spiking Hurricanrana to Thomas War, his kneeling opponent. Thomas War trying to get up now as the damager is just picking apart. TJ Black, look out, the Cruiserweight champ has got a hold of Thomas War and puts him down with a hammerlock DDT. Meanwhile, the damager got a pin on TJ Black, got his feet on the ropes, but still, he kicks out. Meanwhile, going for a pin on it. Oh, fly knee, look out, got a two count. And three, Thomas War is gone. Huey Blunts is down, the Cruiserweight champion TJ Black now moving in on. His opponent, brain buster to his number one contender. One of these men will be the Battle Royal Champion right here tonight. I don't think Huey Blunts is a Cruiserweight, Luke Luger. I see that off to the side. Yes, this Cruiserweight rivalry is truly real, though, and it is definitely all over the place. The damager now, the only man left in the match who's been a Battle Royal Champion before. Oh, look out! That looked like one hell of a double team maneuver there. Oh, he throws a hell of a shot into the Cruiserweight Champion. Oh, and lays it down with one as well. Huey Blunts doing what he's got to do. The damager with one hell of a fastball pitch to the side of the face. Knockout punch. But the Cruiserweight Champ stays in the fight every step of the way. Chase Hendo Henderson, the chosen one. He's looking to show you why he is, one, the Cruiserweight Champion, and two, the chosen one, all in one fatal swing. Uh-oh, look out, a bulldog from behind after that float over. Looked like he was going for a DDT, but he gets caught from behind with that bulldog. And now, T-Bone suplex for his troubles. Cruiserweight champion going after the damager. The damager, Huey Blunt, who is already on the next card of Rise to Stardom. He's looking to have two matches here, but look out, he may be meeting his demise. Hammerlock DDT, the Cruiserweight champion. Chase Henderson drops him with his finisher. One, two, and no, the Chosen One cannot put away the damage up. Huey Blunts, three men have been eliminated. Huey Blunts has eliminated two of them himself. Now, it looks like the two Cruiserweights looking to work together, old man. Chase Henderson and TJ Black, two men who will meet for the Cruiserweight title. Oh, and look at that, he broke up his finisher. He was going for the ripcord knee instead. Hits him with that Northern Lights and the damage of Huey Blunts who is getting Double team, Tia. Oh, good Lord. The damager is down. 
Hendo trying to move in perhaps with a pin and look out his number one contender gets into the mix right away. TJ Black now taunting in front of all of these fans telling everybody this is his night. He will walk away with the Battle Royal title. Is he lying or will he be telling the truth? Good Lord, a clothesline up against the ropes there. Beaten between a rock and a hard place. TJ Black with a clothesline up against the ropes. Beautiful double stomp to the chest of his uh, next opponent, the champion, the cruiserweight champion. And now TJ looking for something here. Uh-oh, the damager got him up. Oh, the king size come down. The king size come down, connects there, and TJ Black eats a Saido suplex. Now going for the pin on the cruiserweight number one contender. Two and only a two count there. The damager cannot eliminate him here. He needs to go for a pin on uh, the chosen one. But still, a reversal there finds its mark. Big time head kick there. Going for a kick, but no. The damager with an elbow to the knee, making him pay for it. And he nails one on him as well. These men breaking up each other's maneuvers. We are down to the final three. We're guaranteed to have a new Battle Royal champion. Oh, look at that. A running double knee to the back. But who will it be? Who will be the final or who will be the next Battle Royal champion? The damager who has been champion before lays out TJ Black with that Health Nelson overhead suplex. We got a pin here by the Cruiserweight champ. One, two, and no. A kick out there by Chase Hendo Henderson. Black now. Ooh, caught up with these multiple cross-face maneuvers here. Just nailing him there. And the Cruiserweight champion looking to score. Uh-oh, reversal here by TJ. A much-needed reversal with the T with TJ with the T-bone there. But he gets caught from behind. Wait a minute. Reversal into a hurricanrana there. Good Lord, these Cruiserweights are showing off in the opening battle royal here tonight. Oh, pullback, big boot there, puts him down. Speaking of pullback, could he be going for the finisher? No, reversal there by Chase Endo Henderson. Now, look out, backbreaker. What hell of an innovative backbreaker there. Henderson puts down Black. And now, Chase Endo Henderson looking to use the ropes to his advantage. One, two, and no, he kicks out again. He's not going down quite that easily here. Thrown into the corner. Both of his opponents making their way towards the, the TJ Black. And look out. The damager got him locked up. But oh, it gets broken up there. Beautiful maneuver there by Chase Hendo Henderson. And now the damager picking up the cruiserweight champ. Oh, he was going for the cottonmouth crossface. Instead, elects to go for a double team here on TJ Black. Oh, man. It got broken up. And look at them both. They both want to finish TJ Black, but they're going to break up each other's maneuvers. A cottonmouth crossface instead is locked in. And the Cruiserweight champ is standing back watching his number one contender tap out. We are down to two. It's the Cruiserweight champion, Chase Henderson, and Huey Blunt's former two-time. Battle Royal champion in his own right, rise to stardom, season seven contestant, and look out, he goes down. Henderson loves the hate, and he puts him down with a double knee jawbreaker. Henderson in control here. Backdrop there, beautiful maneuver by Chase Hendo Henderson, and look out, will he win the NCW Battle Royal Championship right here, locking him up. Perhaps one more hammerlock DDT in the center of the ring. Will it be enough to finish it? Going in for the pin here. One, two, and three. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Chase Hendo Henderson holds two titles here with us in the land of the nightmare. Wow. Your winner here tonight, the chosen one, Chase Henderson. Congratulations to Chase Henderson on this awesome title matchup here tonight. He and TJ Black just fought it out. There you see the flying knee and there was also hammerlock DDTs on TJ Black. These two just went at it tooth and nail here. And at the end of the day, their rivalry would eliminate TJ Black and Huey Blunts would go down shortly after to the hammerlock DDT, thus leading you to your new NCW Battle Royal 
champion, and also your cruiserweight champion, Chase Henderson. Congratulations to Chase Henderson on this monumental night, holding two titles at once. Wow. Awesome showing here by Chase Henderson. We will catch him next time on the next episode. For right now, we are just moving right along for NCW's Adrenaline. Coming up next, fans, we got the next second matchup of the evening. It's NCW's Live Wire. We got the Ultimate Tag Team Champions, the American Triad, taking on the uh, team of Genesis. It's Aaron the Destroyer, Eric Hale, and Ryan Riley going at tonight up against the Beast Cody Ford, Daddy Mark Woolery, and uh, Joe Jacobson right here tonight in our set. All right. Sorry about that, fans. I'm back now. Like I was saying. Beast Cody Ford, Daddy Man Calypso of the American Triad will be taking on Genesis right here tonight. It is the NCW Ultimate Tag Team Champions taking on the NCW World Champions. And of course, neither titles on the line. Both teams will defend their titles at the next click per view. And it's kind of funny because Genesis, part of that revelation invading faction, if you will, led by uh, Constanelli, the World Tag Team Titles, which is an interpromotional tag team t uh, championships, and of course the American Triad members of the Adrenaline roster, the Ultimate Tag Team Titles of NCW. So a lot of things in the land of the nightmare. Nonetheless, here tonight we're going to see the Beast and Mark Willow, the greatest tag teams in the world, take on perhaps a team that is even better than them. That being the team of Genesis. Eric Hale, Ryan Riley, and Aaron the Destroyer. Looking to team up to take on the American Triad. And fans, if you ask me, you're about to see a torch passed here tonight, and Genesis is about to dust off the American Triad. I'm going to tell you what, the dastardly trio of the Triad better be ready, because Genesis is looking to take over here tonight on NCW's Live Wire. We're going to, who will be the winners of six-man tag team tables matchup. The winning team will be the team that is left standing after all uh, members of the other team has been put through a table. So here we go. Making their way down to the ring first. NCW Livewire. They are the NCW Ultimate Tag Team Champions, the American Tribe. Calypso Joe Jacobson, Daddy Mark Woolery, Beast Cody Ford. All right here, ready to go tonight. Nearly 30 years of car wrestling experience combined between the three of them. Here tonight, ready to go, the American Tribe. Of course, the Beast Cody Ford and Daddy Mark Woolery been uh, locked in a rivalry with the Cousins of Chaos as of late. Uh, that includes Sean Kenny as well as Jeremy Barmore. Awesome team if you haven't seen them. In my opinion, they were one of the best new teams uh, in the past year in car wrestling as a whole. Nonetheless, here tonight they ain't facing them. They're facing Genesis in a six-man tag matchup. Team that won Faction Wars 2018, the first ever edition of Faction Wars. The American Triad, the ultimate tag team champions at this time. Looking to go into this non title exhibition three on three tag matchup. So here we go. Like I said, fans, they are the live wire tag team champions as far as being the ultimate tag champs. However, they were not drafted to NCW's Livewire. Of course, if you want to know the draft results, you can go check out the draft results on NCW Chairman, our YouTube channel. We re-upload all our videos, and we're going to start adding in the intro for everybody, everything for everybody, uh, and all that. It's going to be awesome. Nonetheless, here we go. Here tonight on NCW's Livewire, six-man tag action. And now, here they are. Making their way down to the ring, the team of Genesis. The Twitch television champion, Aaron the Destroyer. The NCW World Tag Team Champions, Eric Hale, Ryan Riley. They are the team of Genesis. 
Now, remember, fans, Aaron the Destroyer is technically a third of this team, and they will defend their teams in a three in a three on three match. He is technically a uh, one of the three tag team champions that we currently have for the NCW World Tag Team Title. So, just because he's got his Twitch Television Title around his waist doesn't mean he's not an NCW World Tag Team Champion as well. Genesis, of course, racking up the belts as of late last couple, uh, let's say last couple uh, months or so. Nonetheless, they all started out fighting each other, and then they end up just joining forces, taking out Zangar Venu and entering him off. Haven't seen Zangar since then, since Eric Hale took him out and joined the other two. Thus, this is the team of Genesis. NCW World Tag Team Champions. Aaron the Destroyer, the Double R Superstar, and the Wicked Cypher, Eric Hale. Here we go. Three on three. Tables match up in effect, and Ryan Riley goes right after the beast. Look out. Woolery pairs off with the Twitch Television Champion, while Calypso and Eric Hale, two uh, cruiserweights in their careers, uh, going at it here. Look out. Ryan Riley here, face to face here with the beast. Got him in a front face lock, and it looks like uh, going for something. No, instead, letting him go. Now the beast got him in a back body drop, puts him down. Beautiful kip up to follow. Meanwhile, Eric Hale, the Wicked Cypher, all over Calypso. Joe Jacobson, he ain't looking good here as he goes down. Woolery taunting in the corner. Nice shining wizard there by the Beast. Meanwhile, Eric Hale, the Cruiserweight, off the top rope with a beautiful double foot stomp to the gut, and he stays down. Good Lord. Woolery got him up, but no, the Twitch Television Champion, a crafty technician. He won the Nightmare World Cup, ladies and gentlemen, that being... Uh, Aaron the Destroyer. Now remember, a Nightmare World Cup was a 64-man tournament. Ten episodes. You can go check that out on our YouTube if you'd like to. But if you're just sticking around here with us, we got a six-man tag going on. And look out, this Twitch television champion to the top rope here. What's he looking for? Uh-oh, Ryan Riley gets caught by Calypso, and he's down. Oh, man, look out, Aaron the Destroyer diving off the top rope, taking out two of the three, trying to take out all three members of the triad with that flying brain chop. Instead, now, leveling the field while giving Eric Hale, the Wicked Cypher, enough time to get back in the ring here. Look out, spinning kick does not find its mark. Now, all men in and out of the ring here while the table is trying to come into effect here. Look out, Ryan Riley now. He and uh, Eric Hale been throwing shots here, catching each other with each other's kicks. Believe it's been uh, on accident, but I don't know. Look out, going for the Enziguri and missing. Mark, Will oh my goodness, look out. He and Eric Hale may very, may very well be fighting each other during this matchup. Perhaps Genesis is just crumbling right here before our eyes. Nonetheless, the Twitch television champion still battling it out with uh, Daddy Mark Woolery. And look at this, the technicality on display once again, putting him down with that neck breaker. Now, Cody Ford put the table in the corner. Eric, the, Aaron the Destroyer moving that table. And look out, shooting star to the inside to Woolery. The Beast is down. Calypso now working his way back to the inside, knocking the, the table out of his hands. Look out. But Genesis is just all over the American triad. The veterans in this matchup not looking good as Genesis is just destroying them there. Nice leg drop there by Calypso. Now Ryan Riley bringing a table into the ring. Got two in the ring, but they're not set up here. Look out. Uh-oh. Dives off Hurricanrana there. And look at this stretching submission here, this working hold. I don't even know what to call that by Ryan Riley. Ryan Riley, one of the most innovative superstars we have ever seen in the land of the nightmare. American Triad now trying to fight it out. The ultimate tag team champions here. Calypso plays by Freebird rule as well. Uh-oh. Look out. Oh, my goodness. Calypso gets thrown up in the air by his own tag partner. Instead, a DDT by the Wicked Cypher, and uh-oh, this ain't looking good here, ladies and gentlemen, for the Twitch television champion, as, look out, he's got Aaron up, and the Destroyer goes through a table, Genesis is down two to, two to three here. 
the beast with a hell of a reversal there to the gut. Nice knee there, puts him down. Ryan Riley needs to set up a table and eliminate either uh, Daddy Mark Woolery or, oh, Calypso while he still can. Look out, head first into the announce table on the outside. And the Beast throws Eric Hale back to the inside. Calypso now taking uh, it to Ryan Riley while the Beast fetches another table. They're looking to end this early. Going for a clothesline, an air raid bomber, if you will. Reversal here by both members of Genesis. And they got the ultimate tag team champions reeling here. The Beast sent to the outside while Eric Hale is left all alone. Oh my goodness, what a double team maneuver there. And Enziguri at the same time as a train wreck knee. And now, look out, Ryan Riley locks him up in a German knuckle lock now, climbing to the top rope over his top, over his partner with that corkscrew arm drag. Here we go, Ryan Riley going to the outside here, but Calypso out to the outside to get him, and look at this, drops him head first. Uh-oh, Eric Hale in a bad way here, while the beast Cody Ford has got a hold of him. He takes a look, Ryan Riley is down on the outside, and the, and the former Cruiserweight champion has been eliminated. Ryan Riley left all alone with the American Triad. Could he, in fact, get one elimination, or will it be a clean sweep here? And look at this. The veterans looking to take it to Ryan Riley here and embarrass him. But the Beast breaking up that pit, that maneuver there. And look at that. The double birds to the face, leaving Ryan Riley all alone in this matchup, this elimination matchup, table style. And the American Triad is just circling the ring like sharks at this moment. They are just looking to destroy old Ryan Riley. The double R superstar, former Canadian champion in his own right now. The Beast, Cody Ford, and Mark, Wool or excuse me, yeah, Mark Woolery looking to set up the tables here. While Calypso keeps Ryan Riley down. Look at this, schoolboy super kick there to bust open the double R superstar. The Beast now going to the top rope here, and he is a bloody mess here. But look out, fighting it out with Daddy Mark Woolery. Huracarana almost put him through the table with that. If he would have done that, he would have eliminated Daddy Mark Woolery. Look out, the Beast here puts him down with a power bomb, a deadlift power bomb there. Calypso now trying to find the moment of what he wants to do. Oh, and breaks up the spear. Look out, he's thrown near the table, but not into it. But now, ooh, hip first into the table. Gets thrown across the ring here. Calypso now gets reversed. Ryan Riley trying to go to the top rope, but he gets caught by the Beast. Reversal into a Bulldog. Ryan Riley fighting off the triad by himself here. Nice reversal by Calypso, and he may be looking to end it, but no, Northern Lights puts down Calypso. Ryan Riley face to face with Woolery, and Woolery looking to end it. Woolery now over and over into the table he goes. Perhaps the American Triad looking for a scars and stripes through the table. Oh, hip first into the table once again, but Ryan Riley finally finding his bearings and getting a, a reversal. And another reversal, dropping the beast. Calypso's on the outside here, but look out. Oh, into the table he goes again. Reversal by Ryan Riley. He needs to get an elimination to at least even this out a bit. But now with three to with a three to one advantage, I don't believe the American Triad is just gonna go down here. I don't think so. Look out, got him up. Reversal by Woolery and saved by his opponent at the same damn time. Throws him into the ropes. Ryan Riley, Enziguri drops down Calypso. Look out, rolling over the back, out of that gut wrench suplex there. Ryan Riley, gut buster, fighting on three men here. You gotta give him one hell of a showing here. This is one hell of a showing here by Ryan Riley, member of Genesis, but he just ain't looking good here, ladies and gentlemen. 
and look at that, just dropping Calypso with that reversal, getting away from the beast, going after Woolery, clothesline, sending him all the way to the outside, leaving enough room for the American triad to regroup here. Double leg drop while Woolery is just scolding him. Scolding him here. Look out. Turns him around. Got him up in the torture rack here. But wait a minute. Oh, nails him in the head and a reverse bulldog by Ryan Riley. Now with a little bit of room, trying to pick up the beast instead of take out Mark Woolery. And Woolery there waiting. A Fez press there. The American Triad ain't taking no chances here, ladies and gentlemen. With every mistake that Ryan Riley commits here, they are capitalizing. Throws Woolery in the ring and he goes in right behind him. Calypso looking to pick up the pieces. The Beast calling for the end here. Nice spinning back kick there by. Oh, look out! A super kick takes out Calypso. Uh oh, into the corner goes Ryan Riley. Big time splash by the Beast. He ain't done as, oh, look out over top of Calypso. Look at that, the athleticism and the spear, but he falls down midway of some sort. May have tripped over the table behind him. Meanwhile, Ryan Riley got him locked up, looking for the double R roller coaster. Face first, and the beast is down. Ryan Riley now moving in on the table. What could he be going for? The table gets knocked out of his hands. Calypso now, mention Oku driver to lay it down. Daddy Mark Woolery now with a table in hand. Throws the table out. I guess the American Triad's looking to end this matchup another way of sorts. Instead, Calypso bringing in. I don't know how you're going to end it. Uh, there's no other way to win a table match. But, oh, look out. Mark of the Beast lays down Ryan Riley. He's down. The Ultimate Tag Team Champions make their way to the outside to the other table, perhaps. Or maybe they're going all the way to the back as they feel this matchup is definitely over. Calypso can pick up the pieces and end it. Ryan Riley now needs a reversal to save him, and there it is, throwing Calypso out of the way. Oh my God, Calypso gets speared. Calypso gets speared by Cody Ford. Cody Ford now not being able to save. Oh, yes, he does. He saves Mark Woolery in the meantime, and Woolery gets in the way, but look out. Reversal there. Ryan Riley now throwing the beast into the steel, or excuse me, into the wooden table here. Ryan Riley not able to capitalize here as the American Triad saving each other, even though he was he speared his own partner. The beast still not uh, going through that table as he's been on that table for a minute. Good lord, just throwing the table right into the head of the Double R Superstar. And look at these two. Oh, look at that. Takes out Calypso with a table shot. But the Beast throwing him over the ropes yet again, saving his time here to the top rope here. Oh, look out. A table shot lays out both of his uh, partners there. And then nails Ryan Riley to the floor. This just our second matchup of the evening, folks. This matchup is just raging on. Now. Ryan Riley being picked up here. Look out. Getting hit with the Fez press shots there. The mounted punches by Woolery. A table is set up in the corner in the ring, but a DDT laying down Ryan Riley. And the American Triad, the NCW Ultimate Tag Team Champions of NCW's Livewire, showing everybody why they are, in fact, the tag champs of this brand. And they won't even draft into this brand. They came to this brand because the tag division at one point was considered interpromotional. But now it looks like Calypso Joe Jacobson looking to end it once and for all, showing him mercy and finally taking him out. Ryan Riley goes down in the American Triad. Your winners here tonight, the six-man tables elimination tag matches. Wow. Genesis just got wrecked, ladies and gentlemen. The NCW World Tag Team Champions showing are uh, going down here to the Ultimate Tag Team Champions. Perhaps the Revelation faction losing a bit of momentum here. Nonetheless, Genesis 
Goes down to the American Triad. Look at that. Nails his own partner with a spear. And then he immediately goes after Woolery. Throws him into the corner. But it was broken up by Cody Ford. And this matchup ends up a clean sweep here. But Calypso, the Beast, and Daddy Mark Woolery. Your winners here tonight. Mark Woolery, Cody Ford, and... So Joe Jacobs. Congratulations to the American Triad folks. Whether you love them or whether you hate them, your winners here tonight. The ultimate tag team champions, the American Triad. So here we go. First matchup featured in our little deadly game, if you will, that Livewire is hosting. This is only Livewire superstars. Uh, I don't remember the exact list, but I do know these two are in it. That being Hunter Quinn, Dash, and Deshaun Walton. Also, they have other men in this as well. Gabriel Gorgeous, Josh Omega, uh, Thomas Moore, TJ Black, Chase Henderson, all these guys involved in this, and they will be holding on to this point system for a while. It's a round robin, so it means everybody is going to face everybody before it's all said and done. The man with the most points at the end will get a shot at the NCW Live Wire Championship. So that's right, fans. Sean Kenny is sitting out in this little deadly game, and he's sitting back and watching who will be his next uh, contender. Now, which also means you don't get points if you fight someone outside the deadly game competition, meaning that uh, Sean Kenny is not in the deadly game competition. If you end up having to fight him, uh, then you're, you don't get any points for that. So with that being said, Gabriel Gorgeous's match will not be for any points here tonight, but this match here is Hunter Quinn versus Deshaun Walton. Live here tonight for NCW's Live Wire. Let's go. Third matchup of the evening. Who is going to walk away the winner? Who's going to be the first man to score some points here in the Deadly Games competition? Here we go. First man making his way down to the ring. He is what I like to call the bomb squad of NCW. The one and only Deshaun Walton. Deshaun Walton and awesome talent all across call. And here tonight he will make no different. Or he will be no different rather. As he comes in here tonight looking to score his uh, looking to score a point by defeating his opponent here tonight. We're gonna see how he fares. Sean Wolf, challenged for multiple titles in the past, has never walked away with a championship here with us. But I'm going to tell you what, winning the Deadly Games competition may be even greater than a title to him. It is the first of its kind here with us in the Land of the Nightmare, and the first matchup kicking it off to Sean Wolf and Hunter Quinn. Two men who've been battling it out lately. Or have, have met each other in multi-man matches as of late. But here tonight in singles competition, that's what it's all about, fans. You won't see any triple threats in this. You won't see any fatal four-ways. It's going to be all singles competition. That is the only way. Score points in the Deadly Games competition. The live wire circuit. Yes, Luger, that is what we're going to call it, the live wire circuit, because that sounds 10 million times better than the Deadly Games. Yes, live wire circuit it is. What's so, up? There you heard it, folks. There you heard it, folks. You, and you heard it first. Live wire circuit right here tonight. Starting now, we're going to find out who's going to walk away with the first point. And Hunter Quinn, a man who's been waiting and biding his time and really building himself here in the land of the nightmare the last two months since he arrived. Has not walked away with a championship thus far, uh, but perhaps here tonight can show everybody what he can do when it comes down to this. Singles, round robin, live wire circuit. Oh, sorry. I was standing really far back when I saw that. Sorry, uh, he entered the asylum. I, I'm so sorry. Nonetheless, Mr. Luger being here at all times. My apologies. 
Nonetheless, here we go. Hunter Quinn ready to go here in the singles competition up against his opponent, Sean Walton. Both men stepping into this live wire circuit. And we're going to see how this goes. Like I said, singles matches, fatal four ways, uh, triple threats, non no go here. Only singles in this is the only way to, to get uh, points. If you... Remember, you can only gain one point off each match, so it's going to take a while before we figure out who's going to end up winning the competition. We don't even have an end date. We just know these guys are going to be competing for it. Nonetheless, live wire circuit right here on live wire starts here tonight. Deshaun Walton, Hunter Quinn, one on one, and look out at Michinoku Driver to start the matchup out. Deshaun Walton just taking it to Hunter Quinn here. Nice DDT there, and he's looking to carry out this matchup and continue it here. Picking up his opponent now. Look out. Under single underhook face lock suplex there by Deshaun Walton. Staying in control, and now finally a reversal there by Hunter Quinn. Hunter Quinn getting caught there with a jawbreaker. Deshaun Walton finding exactly where he wants to be. Got him up in the fireman's carry. Nice terminating kick there. Or detonation kick of sorts. Putting him down with that maneuver. Having to use the ropes to get up. Deshaun Walton was going to fly instead. And Irish whip is what he finds here. Catching him. Beautiful float over neck breaker there by Deshaun Walton. Showing everybody. What he can do here tonight. Also, enter the asylum if you want to. You can put your uh, character if you're a call wrestler on, on the side so I kind of know who you are. I'll give you a follow on Twitter and everything, brother. Gotcha. Nonetheless, here we go. Hunter Quinn fighting it out tooth and nail here. And look out. This could be the opening he's looking for. But no, a reversal into a face-busting uh, bulldog of sorts by Deshaun Walton. And he is just all over Hunter Quinn here. Hunter Quinn now in the corner. Look out. Eating a patented maneuver there by Deshaun Walton. And STO into the turnbuckle. And Walton is in control here. Bomb squad looking to rain down the bombs, if you will, here on Hunter Quinn. But Hunter Quinn with a much-needed big boot, trying to slap his legs out from under him. Instead, runs right into that snap German suplex, and that will level the playing field here for Hunter Quinn. Quinn now trying to rake the eyes away and uh, trying to rip the nose off of Deshaun Walton here. Nice senton off the second rope there by Hunter Quinn. And Hunter Quinn's going to take this time to taunt to the fans here at NCW's Live Wire. Nice reversal there. Look out. Shots to the face there. Uh-oh. Got a hold of him and throws him into the corner here. Uh-oh. Nice reversal. Oh, and face first into the turnbuckle right here on NCW's live wire. Deshaun Walton into in control once again. We haven't seen him with that flying cutter or that 630 senton. Oh my goodness, what a shooting star drop kick. One hell of a maneuver there to knock down Deshaun Walton and take back control. Hunter Quinn now, uh oh, Quinn going for that patented Quinn Buster. Put him down with that maneuver there. Could it be enough to end it here? No, oh, instead, he's looking to continue the fight. Hunter Quinn, who's been competing for a matter of years in call, I believe, showing off his veteran instincts, much like De uh, Deshaun Walton, knowing that it's not enough to end him. Instead, throwing him through the ropes. Quinn now, with a head full of steam, looking to fly. Good Lord, an outside senton taking out Deshaun Walton here. This singles competition is gnarly. And I'm going to tell you what. Both men fighting tooth and nail to get that point here in the live wire circuit. Nice maneuver there. Deshaun Walton now calling for the end. And the dash cutter connects. Puts down Hunter Quinn with that maneuver. Going for a pin off that one, two, and no. Hunter Quinn will continue the fight here tonight.
Oh, that's work. Ashley Amber. Okay, I'll make sure I, I check you out on Twitter. Nice Tope Atomico there by Deshaun Walton. As this matchup continues, who will score the first point here in the live wire circuit? Nice jawbreaker there by Quinn. Quinn now turns him around. Beautiful STO. Just whipping him around right into it and then putting him down with it. Now. Picking him up once again for another Quinn Buster. Inverted pile driver puts him down. He's in control, but Deshaun Walton can come back on you just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Reversal there. Hunter Quinn now. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a hot shot, some sort of a stunner through the ropes or over the ropes of sorts, but instead whips him over with that snapmare now. In complete control. Hunter Quinn nails him with that go to sleep. Knee to the face. Going for the pin off that, but we have an immediate rope break. This matchup will continue. And Quinn kicks him right in the gut to continue this match. Look out. Throwing him into the corner here. Hunter Quinn in complete control of his opponent. But Deshaun Walton just lands one hell of a shot there into a single underhook face lock suplex. Deshaun Walton now. I'll tell you what, he is like lightning with that uh, with that dash cutter out of nowhere. And the bomb squad with another one of those maneuvers. And now just telegraphing it here. The dash cutter. And he puts it down. Flying cutter going for the pin off that. One, two, and no. A kick out there by Hunter Quinn once again. Deshaun Walton cannot believe it. The bomb squad does not know what to do in this situation here. Deshaun Walton on the second rope. Thought he was going to go for that 630 centon. Instead, this matchup continuing here. Nice drop kick, but he misses not find its mark. Instead, Hunter Quinn now perhaps pulling him to the center of the ring right here, and he's going for his point. One, no, a kick out immediately to Sean Walton, not going down to a mistake at his own hand. You better believe that. Headbutt by Quinn, a kick to the back, keeping this menacing assault, keeping it going here, and this could be the final one here. Puts him down with a Quinn buster. Going for the pin off of that. One, two, and no! I thought it was over, ladies and gentlemen, but Hunter Quinn cannot get the job done here, at least not with that maneuver. Now, looking for perhaps the very end. And now, Quinn has got him up. Hunter Quinn nails to go to sleep. And now, knowing after getting all those rope breaks, he pulls him away from the ropes, going for the pin here. One, two, and no! Dash Walton stays in the match. Good God, ladies and gentlemen, Deshaun Walton to stay in this matchup the whole step of the, every step of the way. And now, Crucifix pin here. He could be trying to steal one. One, two, and no. Quinn to kick out as well. Near falls after near fall here in this matchup, but only one man can walk away scoring the first point here in the live wire circuit. Who will it be? Deshaun Walton taking his opponent all the way to the top. Hunter Quinn off the top rope with that. Falcon arrow. Good Lord. And Hunter Quinn is out in the center of the ring. Now with Deshaun Walton perched on the top rope. Here he comes. Hero in a half shell, baby. Hits that 630 cent on and keeps his opponent down. Collapses under uh, being tired, but now goes in for the pin here. One, two, and three. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Deshaun Walton walks away, scoring the first point here in the nightmare, or excuse me, in the live wire circuit. Wow. Congratulations to Deshaun Walton and what an awesome singles matchup here. Hunter Quinn fought his heart out with three Hunter uh, Quinn busters, but at the end of the day, Deshaun Walton took all the damage. And then when he pulls out, now I'm going to tell you what, it was flying cutter and Quinn busters all over the place, but when he 
came off that top rope with that hero in the half shell 630 set time. He puts down his opponent and walks away. Your victor here tonight. Your winner, once again, ladies and gentlemen, Deshaun Walton. The bomb squad gets it done here tonight. Congratulations to Deshaun Wolf once again. We will catch him on the next episode, and we'll see how he does. As this uh, nightmare, or excuse me, the live wire circuit in will continues. All right, fans, and here we go. Our next matchup in live wire circuit. It is Josh Omega Bullet Adams one on one. Who will score a point here tonight? In the live wire circuit. Josh Omega and uh, Bullet Adams, neither man, I believe, capturing a championship. Josh Omega, of course, a former Battle Royal champion, but I don't believe he's captured any other titles here with us. But of course, Josh Omega has challenged Sean Kenny. He's challenged for the Bloodsport title against Gabriel Gorgeous. He's Josh Omega looking to score a point against a man who, in my opinion, could walk away with the victory here tonight. Bullet Adams. Now, Bullet Adams, of course, a great wrestler, to say the least. We've seen him in the Land of the Nightmare many times, and here tonight, finally, we'll show everybody what he's got here. Live Wire Circuit. Walk away scoring a point. Will it be Josh Omega, or will it be Bullet Adams? Right here tonight, singles competition, of course, in the Live Wire Circuit. We find out who is the better man here tonight. Up. Live here tonight from Chicago, Illinois, for NCW's Live Wire. Here for the Live Wire circuit. Now, that last matchup was tooth and nail back and forth. Here tonight, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, Josh Omega always doing, looking to do what he always does, and that is steal the show. To see how he does here tonight, Josh Omega. Hailing from the Omegaverse, hell of a heel Samoan, here he is, Josh Omega, ready to go here for this live wire circuit matchup. This is the first, his first opponent here in the uh, round robin circuit. Josh Omega ready to go here tonight. Is this our this is our fourth matchup? You're never gonna make it. Yes, You're it not is good enough. Fourth match. Last mid card matchup of the night. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. Oh, yeah. Co main event. Main event. Too many Unless. You gotta here we go. You gotta take it slow. You can't Next man. Taking his no way more. down to the ring. His opponent. One and only. Bullet Adams. Bullet Adams ready to go here tonight. I will tell you what. Oh, he's never won a championship here with us in the land of the nightmare. We're going to see how he fares coming into this live wire circuit. In my opinion, he's one of my favorites uh, to win it. Uh, let's see how he fares. The odds are definitely on his side, but he's going up against Josh Omega. His first live wire circuit matchup. We will see how that fares. Yeah. She ain't gonna make 
it. You ain't never ever gonna break it. You can never beat him and the better than you face it. Here we go. Bullet Adams, Josh Omega, one on one here tonight for NCW's Live Wire. Of course, this is Live Wire Circle matchup. Winner scores a point. Loser gets no points. Doesn't get any taken away, but doesn't get any points this one of the multiple matches that every man in the round robin has to have to get through it here tonight. Josh Omega, Bullet Adams. One on one, the bell is sounded, and here we go. They lock up in a collar and elbow tie up, and it looks like Omega going to dr uh, drive the smaller opponent, Bullet, Bullet Adams, into the corner. The referee, Jeff Bobcat, looking for a clean break here, and we get one. Showing uh, awesome respect here towards each other. Nice uh, arm wrench here. Now torquing on that hammer lock from behind here. And pushes Omega away. Uh-oh. Got a hold of him from behind. Got him up. Oh, and an atomic drop there. Looking to break the tailbone there of Josh Omega. Bullet Adams now sliding. Uh, drop kick to the side of the temple. And now looking to pick up the pace as he is on the second rope before Josh Omega can make it back to his feet. Bullet Adams looking to fly. Beautiful. Uh, float over there. Blockbuster. to take out Josh Omega. Bullet Adams now picking up Josh Omega to the seated position, but a reversal here by Josh Omega, a man who made it to the finals of NCW uh, Nightmare World Cup, made it to the final eight, didn't end up winning the tournament, but he did fairly well. Nonetheless, Omega, former Battle Royal champion in his own right, throwing Bullet Adams over the ropes here, and look out, Bullet with a beautiful reversal kick to the head there. Bullet now floating back into the inside, kick to the gut, and now looking for the rapid fire suplexes here by Bullet Adams. Beautiful maneuver here, rolling into those suplexes, and then a double underhook face buster. And now picking up Josh Omega, got him uh, from my, got him in full control. Hand behind the back of the head, and now clothesline over the ropes. Bullet Adams now looking to go to work here. Uh-oh. Bullet now dives over the top rope and takes out Josh Omega. Omega is reeling here, fighting it out with Bullet Adams here on the outside. Omega gets caught, going for the Dr. Teeth, but no reversal there. Now... Russian leg sweep there by Josh Omega on the outside. Remember fans, a draw count out disqualification does not earn you a point in night or excuse me in the live wire circuit. Only way to get a point is by pinfall or submission here. Double count out will result in no points for either man. Super kick to the gut, follows it up with a beautiful uppercut. Like I said, fans, if they're counted out, it's the same thing as if one man gets counted out and now taking it back to the inside of the ring here. Josh Omega now in control of Bullet Adams, going after the leg. Oh, and a rolling snap uh, on that leg there. And now... Omega turning him around here. Look out. A little shake and bake action. Puts him up and puts him down with the Omega Plex. Down goes Bullet Adams. This is not looking good for Bullet Adams here in the live wire circuit. Reversal there. Float over into a beautiful DDT. No. Instead, powering his way out of it is the heel Samoan into the Omega Forearm. Going for the pin off his finisher there. One, two, and no. Getting a shoulder up here is Bullet Adams continuing this matchup here. Our last matchup uh, in our mid card. Who will walk away the victor? And now stomping the hand there. Showing the malice of uh, Josh Omega. 
Taking it to Bullet Adams, lifts him up here, but no. Looks like reversal here by Bullet Adams and drops him with a reverse DDT. Now, Bullet in control here. Uh-oh, locking him up once again, and now more rapid fire shots here with these rolling suplexes, and no doubt he will end in the double underhook flapjack face buster. Bullet Adams in complete control here of his opponent. And now Bullet heading to the top rope. Begging Josh Omega now to his feet. Uh oh, Bullet looking to fly. Oh man, nails him there with that beautiful flying jawbreaker off the top rope. One, two, and no, not enough to put away Josh Omega. This matchup will continue here in the mid card. On NCW's Livewire, who will score the point here? Have to win by pinfall or submission to score the point. Uh-oh. Mixing him up again. Full Nelson face buster. Beautiful maneuver there by Josh Omega, and he is in complete control here. Bullet Adams in a bad way. Gets put down with Omega Spear. Going for the pin off that one, two, and no, not enough to put away Bullet Adams. This matchup will continue here. Josh Omega and Bullet Adams trying to score points here in the live wire circuit. Who will walk away? We already know Deshaun Walton scored one point earlier tonight when he uh, fought Hunter Quinn. Now, Josh Omega going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bullet Adams. Beautiful. Sliding fireman's carry to keep him down and then follows that up with a Mr. Perfect neck breaker from behind. Bullet Adams now lifting him. Uh-oh, getting lifted up. Put in the full Nelson. Flapjack face buster once again. Omega taking a moment here to catch his breath. Omega with a, or getting reversed there by Bullet Adams. Bullet now getting a reversal there by Omega. Both men still fighting like they got a full tank of gas here. But oh man, that spear could have laid him out and ended it. Going for the pin. One, two, and three. With a spear out of nowhere, Josh Omega walks away the victor here tonight in this matchup, scoring a point in the live wire circuit. He and Deshaun Walton are tied for first. If that's how you want to look at it, folks. Nonetheless, Josh Omega laying down the hammer and going through Bullet Adams. Bullet Adams definitely flying, soaring through the air with that beautiful maneuver, showing everybody that he gave it all he had, but still not enough to beat Josh Omega. Omega with that final spear would take out Bullet Adams and end the matchup here. Congratulations to Josh Omega on his victory here tonight, scoring a point inside the live wire circuit. Look at it, fans. He's in a two-way tie and will be in a three-way tie for first by the end of the night. But nonetheless, doing what he's got to do to stay at the top of the board in the live wire circuit. Congratulations to Josh Omega on this awesome victory here tonight. Dennis, PDP, will be taking on Jeremy Barmore, one half of the Cousins of Chaos singles competition here tonight. Livewire's co-main event, Jeremy Barmore and PDP. Who will score a point inside the Livewire circuit? We shall find out. Will it be Barmore or will it be the Motor City Menace himself, PDP? Coming up next.
first man. Making his way down to the ring here. The co-main event matchup of the evening. Who will score a point here? Inside. The live wire circuit. Here he is, the one and only. Former Battle Royal Champion in his own right, PDP. PDP, like I said, a former Battle Royal Champion, has uh, done a couple things here with us in the land of the nightmare, but you better believe he's looking to walk away here. The winner of this entire live wire circuit. We're going to see, can he do that at the end of it? But for right here tonight, he's definitely looking to start off the right way, and that is by capturing a win here. In this matchup here, the first matchup of Livewire Circuit here for him. Nonetheless, Motor City Bills here tonight. Looking to see if he can score a point and tie Josh Omega and Deshaun Walton inside. This live wire circuit. Remember, fans, only pinfalls and submissions will gain you points. Count out victories uh, and disqualification victories will not, in fact, earn you a point. Nonetheless, his opponent now making his way down to the ring. Here he is, one half of the Cousins of Chaos himself, Jeremy Barr. Jeremy Barmore, of course, with his uh, cousin Sean Kenny, former HC, or HCW Ultimate Tag Team Champions, of course, former NCW Ultimate Tag Team Champions as they brought those belts over. Nonetheless, Jeremy Barmore here tonight in singles competition, one on one affair here against his opponent, PDP. This is certainly going to be an awesome matchup, to say the least, between these two, as we've seen them uh, fight in singles matches in the past, but here tonight, these two looking to battle it out. Live wire circuit. Trying to gain points here. In the live wire circuit, we're going to see how they fare against each other here in this matchup. Sorry about that, my controller just died. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Nonetheless, here we go. The Motor City Menace and Jeremy Borm. One on one right here tonight. Live wire circuit. This is a match inside the circuit. It is a round robin circuit. As we have said before, everybody will face everybody. Uh, pins and submissions against other opponents will get you points. And we're going to see who's going to walk away with the most points at the end of it. Nonetheless, Jeremy Barmore going up against. The Motor City Menace, PDP. Jeremy Barmore now drills PDP with that. DDT here early in the matchup. And PDP scoring back with a the jawbreaker there. Looking to come back with his own DDT. Beautiful flying DDT across the ring there. Tornado style off the run. And he is trying to stay in control here of Jeremy Barmore. Got him in a front face lock, but only hits him with a knee to the face. Good Lord. Barmore now thrown into the ropes, but PDP bouncing right into him. Barmore, the bigger of the two, it would seem. Ooh, a kitchen sink there sends his opponent reeling across the ring here. Nice maneuver there by Jeremy Barmore, keeping this matchup alive. This, of course, our co-main event of the evening. Jeremy Barmore versus PDP. PDP with a knee to the gut there, now stomping the chest of his opponent. And PDP now laughing in the face of Jeremy Barmore. The crowd getting behind him here in this singles competition. But Barmore with a reversal into a snap dragon suplex. Leveling the field, getting right back in control of the offense here. And another snap, this time a snap German suplex. Putting him down. Gout. And Barmore goes down to the Fez press as PDP is just firing off of multiple shots here. Beautiful maneuver there by PDP. Jeremy Barmore wrenching the arm. Gets a nice reversal there. 
These two just trading uh, offensive maneuvers back and forth, trying to stay in control. And Barmore now showing off with a maneuver. Oh, that he uses so, so often. That beautiful stinger splash, double stinger splash, if you will. Got him up. Bar none. Puts him down with the finisher. Going for the pin off that one. Two and no. Not enough to put away the Motor City Menace PDP. Barmore now puts him down with the guillotine maneuver there. Nice maneuver by Jeremy Barmore. Now a headbutt to the groin there, putting him down. Keeping him down, rather. And now looking to go for another one. Excuse me, not to the groin, to the solar plex, as it would say. Nonetheless, looking to pick up his opponent here, but a re nice reversal there by PDP. But Jeremy Barmore stays on the attack here. Now, got him up. Uh oh. Double underhook gut buster there. A butterfly gut buster, if you will, by PDP. He's in control here of Jeremy Barmore, and this ain't looking good if you're Barmore. Barmore gets lifted up. Look out, the Motor City plunge connects there by the Menace PDP. Going for the pin off that one, two, and no. Not enough to put away Jeremy Barmore. This matchup will continue between both of these men. PDP taunting to the crowd here, trying to get him behind him here in this co-main event. Puts down Jeremy Barmore, hops back up and catches him with another shoulder block. This time, Jeremy Barmore sidesteps the shoulder block. PDP running to the top rope here. Barmore turns around and catches a double axe handle from behind off the top rope there by the menace PDP. And PDP puts him down with the jawbreaker there. Flying double knees to the chin there, puts him down. And now PDP looking to continue the assault here with a deadlift power bomb. PDP lifting him up to a seated position, but a reversal there by Barmore. This could be an opening that he's been looking for here, turning his opponent around. Look out. Overhead German suplex there, just throwing PDP with ease. Nice suplex there, and now trying to stay in control. Look out. Belly to Barmore lays him down with the finisher. Jeremy Barmore looking to end it off that. One, two, and no. Not enough to end the matchup. PDP will stay in it. And now, throwing PDP into the corner here, but no. Reversal by the Motor City Menace looking to stay in this matchup. Kicking Barmore while he's down now, picking him up to his feet. Double knees to the chin once again. The Motor City Menace looking to go for the pin off of that. One, two, and no, not enough to get it done here. Barmore kicking out of it, staying in this matchup. The co-main event of the evening, and PDP may be done playing around with Barmore. Tucks his head under now, lifting him up, going for the Motor City Plunge. Puts him down with that in a minute. Rolling him over the, for the pin. Two count and no. Once again, another near fall. This time, Barmore to continue the matchup with that kick out. PDP now. Backing off. Oh, no. Curb stomp by PDP. Good Lord. Bite the curb, says PDP. And the Motor City Menace in complete control of Jeremy Barmore here. He could be looking to lay the final touches on his opponent here. Got him up once again for the third Motor City plunge. Rolls him over into the pin once again. One, two, and three. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the Motor City Menace, PDP, scores a point inside the live wire circuit. Congratulations to him inside our
co-main event of the evening here tonight. PDP scoring the victory in this back and forth matchup. Nonetheless, walking away the victor over Jeremy Barmore. Your winner here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, PDP. From Detroit, Michigan, getting it done here tonight in Chicago for our co-main event. Your winner, the Motor City Menace, PDP. Coming up next, we have our main event of the evening on NCW's Livewire. We have the Livewire champion, Sean Kenny, taking on the NCW Bloodsport champion, Gabriel Gorgeous. Uh, the Red Antonio. Or their D'Antonio. I don't know. Either way, um, hit me up on Xbox or on Twitter. You can catch us at uh, NCW Call Wrestling. At NCW, I think that's what Nonetheless, so main event of the evening for NCW's Livewire, the Livewire champion, Sean Kenny, in a non-title matchup up against the Bloodsport champion, Gabriel Gorgeous, also in a non-title. This has been a hotly matchup that we have been waiting for on NCW's Livewire for some time. Who is the dominant force here with us on Livewire brand? Is it the Bloodsport champion, Sean Kenny? Or excuse me, is it uh, the Bloodsport champion Gabriel Gorgeous or is Kenny the Livewire champion? We find out in non-title competition exhibition coming up next. Evening. Like I was saying, here we go. Main event of the evening, Sean Kenny, Gabriel Gorgeous. One-on-one -on -one right here tonight on NCW's Livewire. We find out. Who is the better man? Making his way down to the ring first. He is NCW Live Wire champion of NCW's Live Wire, one and only Sean Kenny. Sean Kenny has put down everyone in his path since joining NCW as its Live Wire champion, walked in with the belt, and has not dropped it since. Nonetheless, here we go in a non-title matchup. It is Sean Kenny and Gabriel Gorgeous, two men who have dominated the Live Wire brand for the past couple months. Been on separate roles, if you will, and now both champions meet here tonight in a non-title exhibition champion versus champion matchup for our main event of the evening, NCW's Live Wire. Camera flash when I step up to the podium. Hey. Haters looking salty, easy on the sodium. Hey. You should plan to lose if you think about folding them. Even with a joystick, it's still not that And now, his opponent making his way down to the ring. A man who will be also involved in that live wire circuit. He is NCW long time reigning blood sport champion. Bloodsport title, of course, competed inside a steel cage with only knockout and submission ruling to win. However, here tonight, his title not on the line, and this is not a Bloodsport uh, matchup. Instead, this is a normal singles ball, uh, singles affair, if you will, between two NCW Livewire champions. Of course, the NCW Livewire champion himself, Sean Kenny. And a belt that is uh, exclusive to NCW's Livewire, the NCW Bloodsport Championship, held by that man. Here he is, making his way in, uh, into the ring now. One and only, Gabriel Gorgeous, the Prince of Egypt, hailing from Cairo, Egypt. He is ready to go here tonight. Livewire. Uh, four singles championships, two of which will be battling here tonight. Here we go. Live wire champ versus Bloodsport champ. Gabriel Gorgeous versus Sean Kenny. Who is the big dog? And it looks like Sean Kenny throwing uh, Gabriel Gorgeous across the ring with the opening moments of this matchup here, ladies and gentlemen. I've never seen anyone manhandle 
Gabriel Gorge is quite like that. And look out, nailing him right between the eyes there with that shot. And now, beautiful maneuver there. A cut wrench suplex, that of the deadlift variety. And now, Sean Kenny, oh, eating a reversal there. The mask to the face with that headbutt. And now, here comes the blood sport champion looking to throw bombs and strike back here against Sean Kenny. But Kenny, not going down that easily. Beautiful shoulder block there. Sean Kenny now, reversal there. Gabriel Gorgeous gets caught with a fireman's carry by Sean Kenny. That's our main event of the match of the evening. Good Lord, what a discus clothesline there by the Livewire champion. His power on display here tonight in front of this Chicago, Illinois crowd. Look out. Stomp to the gut of his opponent and then stepping over him there. Putting all of his weight on the abdominal and uh, solar plexus of Gabriel Gorgeous, but the Bloodsport champion with a clothesline there trying to take down the live wire champ, but he seems unfazed. Meanwhile, big time spine buster, and he went way up in the air with that spine buster there. Sean Kenny here taking a moment, getting out on the apron and coming back in here. Going after Gorgeous, but Gorgeous with the reversal, a much needed reversal here as Gorgeous has got him up. Coda Driver. The Coda Driver there by Gabriel Gorgeous, and he ain't done, ladies and gentlemen. Got him down there, looking to phone home all the way to Egypt there. Beautiful maneuver there, through the ropes with the kick, and the beautiful Egyptian splash to follow. A patented maneuver we've seen him use in the past, and now calling to the Pharaohs above, looking for sliding super kick. Beautiful finishing maneuver. Now going for the pin on the live bar champ, one. Two and no, not enough to put away Sean Kenny in this champion versus champion affair here in our main event of NCW's Live Wire here tonight. Air Raid Neckbreaker finds its mark there by Gabriel Gorgeous now picking up his opponent here, looking to go for a snapmare to the center of the ring, leaving him seated here and locking in a figure four around the head here. And look at him here, keeps it locked in, makes sure it stays locked in, and then rolling him all the way around the ring here, just showing off his technical ability, going for another roll. But look at this, Sean Kenny throwing awkward punches to the ribs to get out of that. Dr. Teeth gets caught there. Sean Kenny is down, going in for a quick pin here, but only a one count. Is the live wire champion not going to go down quite that easily? And I'm going to tell you what, Gabriel Gorgeous, who is a man known for his submission techniques, seemingly, oh, not pulling him out in this matchup. Instead, look out, Sean Kenny got him up on his shoulders here for his finisher, the Chaotic Edge. The Chaotic Edge, and he may be looking to end a Gabriel Gorgeous off that, but no, instead, full mount and now hammering blows here. Elbows to follow, and then the Donkey Kong punches to follow after that. Sean Kenny is in complete control of the Bloodsport champion, but a reversal there by Gabriel Gorgeous. Gorgeous now, up on the shoulders. Oh, with the Hurricanrana, he scores. Looking to hit the ropes once again. Phone home to Egypt. Bam, nails that. And now... A beautiful Egyptian splash to follow there by Gabriel Gorgeous. Going for the pin off that combination. One, two, and only a two count there. The Live Wire champion with a kick out there, and this matchup will continue. The Live Wire champ in a bad way, though. Look out. Backed off in the corner. Going for the super kick, but he ducks it there. Mongolian chop to the throat there. And now look at this. Gabriel Gorgeous doing what he's got to do to stay in control here of the live wire champion after missing that sliding shotgun super kick. The Egyptian going to it here. The blood sport champ. Uh-oh. Hits the ropes and comes back with a planting knee there to the side of the temple. Gabriel Gorgeous 
staying in control here of the Live Wire champion. The Live Wire champ now. Uh oh. Look out. Nice reversal there by Sean Kenny. And he may be looking to fire back with one hell of a haymaker there to flatline his opponent. Now picking him up. Uh oh. Spinebuster finds its mark. The Bloodsport champion in a bad way. Sean Kenny on the offensive here, but no, an inside arm drag there by Gabriel Gorgeous. Now, the Golden God himself pulls him back into that ripcord big boot, laying down his opponent. He's backing off to the corner once again, ladies and gentlemen. He's not playing around. Gabriel Gorgeous sliding across the ring with that sliding super kick, and he could be ending the Live Wire champion right here. One, two, and no. Sean Kenny, the live wire champ, stays in this. Going for some sort of a flying cutter, but gets reversed. Kenny instead picks him up, but a reversal there of the Irish whip sends him into the corner here. And look at the dirty tactics of the Egyptian there, rubbing his eye and brow across the top uh, rope there. Certainly trying to give him rope burn, if you will. Now, Snap Bear. Got a hold of him once again, picks him up, and puts him down. And now Gabriel Gorgeous calling, signaling, if you will, for the end. Got him up once again. Hurricanrana into the guillotine across the ropes, hits the ropes, and comes back. Egyptian kick to the face. Not done playing around. Oh, man, hits him with that Egyptian splash, finishing the combination here, looking to go for a knee drop after the combination and extend it even further. Gabriel Gorgeous, who is tired and there now in the ring. He needs to go for a pinfall here on the live wire champ. He could end him off that combination. Instead, Gabriel Gorgeous calling for the end here after taking a breath. Look out, locking him up in the submission. Locked up in the call of the Pharaohs, and now he taps out immediately. The Livewire champion goes down tonight to the Bloodsport champion, Gabriel Gorgeous. And Gabriel Gorgeous showing off his offensive attacks here, the sliding super kick, along with the Coda driver, and then finally the call of the Pharaohs submission. Stacking him up in that triangle, uh, in that sharp shooting triangle of swords. Nonetheless, Gabriel Gorgeous beats the Live Wire champion right here tonight. And fans, you gotta believe if Gabriel Gorgeous wins the Live Wire circuit, he will go on to be the number one contender to Sean Kenny. Could we see that matchup in the future? A rematch for the Live Wire title? Fans, only time will tell. We will see how he fares as he continues in the live wire circuit. Of course, he doesn't score any points here tonight fighting someone outside the circuit. Nonetheless, he is still your winner here in the main event of the evening here tonight. Your winner, Gabriel Gorgeous. Fans, that's all we got for you here tonight on NCW's Live Wire. We will catch you on the next episode of Nightmare Championship Wrestling. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, good fight and good night.